Welcome to the OM School program. This video is taken from our teacher training program on edX.org called Teaching with Physical Computing. Whether you're new to teaching computing or a specialist, this program will set you up on a path to becoming an expert in delivering technology-enabled project-based learning in the classroom. Project-based learning is a pedagogic approach enabling learners to gain knowledge and skills and build their understanding through a sustained, authentic, engaging, complex, problem-based, technology-enabled activity. We are working to a very clear and succinct definition, but what do the words mean? Sustained. Project-based learning cannot be done in a single lesson. The nature of learning is that it develops over time with learners revisiting aspects of their work. Authentic. The activities are real and meaningful. They are focused on something of value to the learner. Engaging. The activities not only need to be worthwhile, but they need to be interesting and of the moment for the learners. Complex. The challenges cannot be trivial and padded out with repetition. Activities need to be challenging. Doable, but not easy. Problem-based. As part of the authentic and engaging aspects, activities need to have value, and so need to do something worthwhile. They are not recipes for a solution. They are opportunities to find or make a solution. Technology-enabled. At the heart of our work, we are enabling our learners to become more able at handling and understanding technology and understanding the implications of the use of technology. The start of the definition is important. Project-based learning is a pedagogic approach enabling learners to gain knowledge and skills and build their understanding. Let's focus on what a pedagogic approach is and think back to the learning landscape. Approaches are not right at the top of the page, but they are not in the theoretical lower half. At the top are strategies, the activities that we as teachers do to enable day-to-day, minute-by-minute learning to take place. Approaches are more complex. They are a combination of principled planning and preparation, based on an understanding of learning and grounded in accepted good practice. And of course, containing many strategies to enable the learning to take place. Orthodoxies of learning, behaviorism, constructivism, and cognitivism, and many theories. Frameworks that help communicate that understanding of learning. Approaches are the principles of teaching. Strategies are the being and doing of teaching, the classroom practice. Returning to the definition again, project-based learning is a pedagogic approach enabling learners to gain knowledge and skills and build their understanding through a sustained, authentic, engaging, complex, problem-based, technology-enabled activity. The first part states, enabling learners to gain knowledge and skills and build their understanding. Enabling learners is not telling them what to do. It is not telling them what to learn. Enabling learners is providing them with the opportunities to do, to explore, to investigate, to try, to theorize. To gain knowledge and skills. The approach of PBL is to enable learners to gain skills motivated by the desire to want to do something and not being told that they have to do something and build on their understanding. It is so important that whatever opportunities we give them, it is within their current knowledge, understanding and skills for them to develop forward. We do not want to make the leap between what they know, understand and can do so large that they fail to bridge the gap. Project-based learning is fundamentally a constructivist approach to teaching. The keywords and phrases of constructivism are active, not passive, experience, reflection, discovery, own representation, pre-existing schema, accommodation, assimilation, sense-making, more competent other, zone of proximal development, and scaffolding. The project-based learning lessons are active lessons where learners are engaged in exploration, discovery, and experiencing. They are being creative and making things. In order to enable that, they are planning. They are making their own representations and reflecting on what they know, and thus making sense of the new things they discover. They have a competent other through collaboration with peers and the support of the teacher. The activities give the learners scaffolded learning opportunities that are within their individual zones of proximal development. Every line of code represents an ethical and moral decision, is an adage assigned to various commentators on the implications of the pervasive use of technology. It is something we should draw to the attention of our learners. Take, for example, the lights controlled pedestrian crossing. If it is programmed so that when the pedestrian presses the button, the lights for the traffic immediately turn red, is there a moral issue? Pedestrians will soon learn and perhaps start to make assumptions. As soon as they press the button, they will start to cross the road. 
At some crossings, the system is sensitive to the presence of emergency vehicles and they keep the route clear for them to pass. The lights for traffic will not turn red. If a presuming pedestrian steps out and is injured, is the designer of the program of light systems partially to blame because they did not have a wait period? The following scenarios can be used as the basis of discussion or investigation. They are hypothetical, but lead the pupils into a range of topic areas that have social, economic, ethical, and moral implications. DIFD. DIFD is an automatic detection of road speed, identification of the car registration, finding the car owner, and debiting the bank account of the owner. Detection, identification, finding, and debiting systems could eliminate much of the time-wasting and money-consuming bureaucracy surrounding the magistrate's courts. The system would be simple to implement and be effective because the punishment would be immediate and targeted on the owner of the miscreant vehicle. Auto-tube driver. The totally automatic tube train system with no drivers present. The trains would run to predetermined timetables. Track control would ensure that safety margins between rolling stock was maintained. Doors would automatically open and close with sensors detecting the presence of passengers. Fire protection services would be controlled by a range of sensors with automatic alarms, fire extinguishers, and section isolation. The use of CCTV, which would be automatically triggered if the emergency bar, which passes along the platform in all subways, was pressed, would ensure passenger safety from muggers. Finally, it is important to appreciate the values of project-based learning that are not related to the subject content. The skills, knowledge, understanding, and attitudes developed in project-based learning work can contribute to the content, skills, and values across the learner's broader education. That happens through developing self-learning skills and attitudes, promoting in-depth learning, facilitating a constructivist approach to learning, focusing on understanding rather than facts, and ensuring learner ownership and confidence. To learn more, head over to edX.org and search for project-based learning and enroll for free.